Hey, how was your training been going? And it looks like you did well at the US 20K, got second place. But then you ran a 10K a few weeks ago, we're only ninth. So tell us overall how you think about the Yeah, training. thank Go you. Um, the training has been going really well. This is my first real marathon training block. And so, um, you know, the first few months, I would say, or weeks, it was definitely a shock to the body. And you can see how, you know, Alicia and our other training partners, Wendy, and um, had already been used to all that marathon training and their bodies kind of adapted well. For me, the workouts were really hard the first few months. Um, and the racing still came easy because I think I still had that speed left over from, you know, the road races earlier in the spring. Um, now, you know, by the end, the last few months, last few weeks, the workouts have started to feel easier and I think that showed in the Tufts race. You know, I've kind of more switched over to the marathon training as opposed to trying to tag on to that 10K half marathon training. Um, so I think that's a good sign, even though I didn't race as well at Tufts. I think that's good because it shows, you know, I felt strong and ready for the marathon and um, we'll see. I mean, it's exciting kind of being my debut, I would say, as far as actually training for the marathon. So it's definitely an exciting, exciting time to be here and I'm, you know, looking forward to what happens. So what's the goal? Um, you know, kind of similar to what Alicia said, you know, I would be really happy to run 230s, but I just want to get out there and compete and, you know, put myself in a good position and, you know, hopefully top 15, top 10, you know, maybe in the top group of Americans and um, just see what happens out there. And do you have a game plan? Are you guys going to run together? Or? You know, we would, I mean, we were talking about it earlier and it's definitely always comforting to have a teammate next to you and um, we work together in workouts all the time and um, so it would be really great if our training or if our workout plan could go to that we would run together. Um, but you never know. I mean, it just kind of depends on how the groups unfold and what happens in the race. Yeah, we're still kind of vague on our plans because we haven't actually really <laughs> sat down and <laughs> we probably should have done that we before the press. Yeah, we probably should have. <laughs> but we haven't sat down with Coach Scott yet. I was going to say, Scott, yeah, so we're yeah, being sort here, of so. vague, but we don't actually know yet what we're going to do. So, yes. and it's really like kind of looking at the, the fields a little bit more and, and seeing what everybody else, kind of how they're going to go out and, you know, yeah, maybe talking to some other people. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's. So, and, yeah. and when you guys practice, do you guys like do every workout like just side by side, the exact same stuff, or is there some difference? And in the workouts, is it more like oh, let's finish together, or do you kind of like test each other out sometimes? Um, you know, Alicia is much better at these marathon workouts than me, I think, and so she's kind of been pulling me along in the workouts, and I think it helps both of us. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, I, I mean, you know. Um, We'll usually start out together and, you know, sometimes by the end I'm kind of falling off but trying to hang on and she's trying to push farther away from me, I think. So um, you kind of just feed off of that, but um, it's definitely helpful to both of us, I think, having another one out there. Yeah, the way our, our workouts are set up, it's different from track because um, in marathon workouts you're just kind of, you have these paces and it's, you know, so when we're doing our, um, our miles on, for instance, we'll do a 10 by a mile on, mile off. And so you just have a specific pace that you hit every time. And it's just all about, so your mile on is like, you know, 540, and then your mile off is 640. And so you just keep doing it over and over and over again for 20 miles. And then, so it's just, so it's not hard. It's not, the paces aren't that challenging, but towards the end, you're just starting to get tired. And it's, can I, can I keep going? Do I have the fuel to keep going? So it's that. That, that's the challenge in those workouts and then at the very end um, we have a mile so we'll do mile on mile off for, for 20 miles and then um, or 10 of those and then um, a mile as fast as we can so that's kind of where you get to like, challenge yourself and try to sprint and it's not pretty um, ever but uh, yeah. is that a continuous 21 mile run yeah yeah and on the track or where do you run no, that we have a mile loop on the yeah. trail Yep. Yep. It's actually a little short, so yeah. it makes us feel good about ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so, that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best you've ever done on the all-out mile at the end there? Uh, I think 517. Yeah, I think right around 520 for me. And that was at the very start of yeah. my marathon training. And I think every week it got a little slower and slower because we were just kind of adapting to that 540 pace. And it got harder and harder to run 520 pace. Yeah. So, yeah. Have you both been doing some training with Wendy? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. We overlapped um, with her all the way up to Twin Cities, okay. so it was she, nice to I have mean, her. She was on 228 pace. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. she was very fit. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. that's every runner's so, but yeah, you, said, yeah. you said that mile course is a little short, but at altitude, shouldn't it be short to make up for? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, exactly. that's, what, that's what Jen told Dean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's so don't true. feel too bad. <laughs> yeah. All right.